I don't know if this is true because this is an odd place to start, but did you perform in libraries? Is I this a real thing? Like, I feel yeah. like you're supposed to be quiet in libraries. That's, so that's true. Take I love you. You're always doing something different than the norm. Yeah. So what? how did that, like, what? It sounds crazy. It that's sounds not, crazy. That's, not, that's nondescript. I, okay. I went to, uh, there was an after school program when I was growing up okay. called Umedia that was at the Harold Washington Library downtown in Chicago. And one day I was walking down the street after school and somebody was like, hey, we got a studio in here. And I was like, that's a library. He was like, it's both. And that's cool. Yeah, and so I came in and checked it out. They had free studio time for what? all kids that were 18 and under. They had like free production classes. Like I'm nice with it because I was literally at the same time when I was going to high school and not paying attention to class. I was paying hella attention in this after school program. Yeah. And they had like a, they had this open mic program there uh, called Lyricist Loft that was ran by um, my mentor and a lot of people's mentors out of Chicago, Vic Mensa and No Name and Saba and Mick Jen A lot of people went to this program, like people at around my age that kind of blew up in hip hop from Chicago. And yeah, and we would do this open mic program and he would like, you know, show us what we were doing wrong and help us get better as performers. And I did that from when I was like 14 to to like 18, really 19, they had to like kick me out of the program because I was, I was trying to stay in there. I know, I, I would have loved that opportunity. Like that, studio time is expensive. Yeah. Like that's an incredible opportunity. Yeah, it so changed my cool. life, it changed all of our lives, everybody that, was, that, that came there. And it was free, yeah. it was just like, uh, you just had to come. That is awesome. Yeah. Just showing up and people help you out. Awesome. Uh, well, you recently put on a huge festival. We were talking about it. It was in Ghana, right? Yeah. So why, tell everybody why you started this. Yeah. So uh, in January, we just had the, the first successful Black Star Line festival. That's uh, so cool. Yeah. And it's huge. Was it, was it like 50,000 people? It's like some yeah. crazy number. 50,000 people, 52,000 people. Dang. Uh, in Accra, Ghana, that's in West Africa. Uh, Ghana has been like the stronghold of like uh, black liberation, anti-imperialism, uh, pan-Africanism, a lot of like ideals that uh, we as a people hold mm -hmm. near and dear and are a big part of our liberation have been like, you know, uplifted by Ghana historically, like since the, since the 50s, since they got their independence. And uh, me and Vic Mensa, one of my closest friends, wanted to put together an event that black people could travel to and, you know, be in confidence and hang out and be safe and listen to great music. We had uh, T Pain, Erica Badu, uh, Sarkodie, Jeremiah, myself, and Vic performed. A bunch of bunch of awesome people. Dave Chappelle did a did a uh, did a talk down there. It was like a basically a week long festival of activities that were free for people from abroad, black people from abroad, to come together and, and kick it and, and learn some stuff. I love that you became what someone gave you when you were a kid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You are walking by and somebody said, hey, you can come do this and be a part of this, and you're working with all these different artists, and it kind of is like the evolution of that, like what you're doing for all these artists, and say, hey, come here. This is like free. You can come and have a good time, and that's awesome. Yeah, no, totally. It's I don't like, know if you put that together, but I just did. You're no, welcome. No, no, I appreciate you putting that <laughs> yeah. together. No, it's totally what it is. I would not be here if it wasn't for the programs I went to, the free things that people did, or like the mentorships that certain men and women gave me when I was a shorty, and that just made me think a certain way, mm -hmm. and I feel like that's what we as a people historically did was we, we lived in communal spaces and like, you mm -hmm. know, help the next people understand how things work. And it's yeah. a really cool domino effect. I'm Absolutely. just pointing it out. You're um, so wise. Guys. Yeah, I'm so wise. You are. really what I am. That's what it is. <laughs> so wait, so you've partnered with a few artists to make, uh, this is cool, your album cover art? Yeah. Was this on purpose? Like you went so, out to find these artists? Or? So what, what's been happening is I've been, uh, since my first trip to Ghana, I met with, uh, I stayed with a, like a group of this collective of artists, uh, painters and photographers and such from West Africa, but from a bunch of different countries and really just got to like, you know, getting to know them and getting to understand how their, you know, how their feel works and realize there's a lot of similarities and, and, and overlapping of like the exploitation of, you know, music artists and, and the exploitation of visual artists. And yeah. through that, like, we just had a conversation about how to create more community and collaborate together. Better so, network. Yeah, so now all of my, my next project is called Starline Gallery. 
It's a collaboration with 16 different visual artists, fine artists from around the world, black folks that I met through my travels, where we got together and I went through my medium, they went through their medium, and we came together to make a piece. So, so far I've, I've, I've released four of them. They've all so opened cool. at major institutions at uh, the MOCA in Los Angeles, the Museum of Contemporary Arts in Chicago, uh, Arts Basel, Switzerland. Um, those are some of the So cool. Arts. Yeah, so that's, that's Mia Lee. Uh, is an amazing painter from Chicago. She did Y'all Know. Nilo Pianga, she painted Child of God. Who did this Nico one up Washington. here? That one up top is uh, Giannis David Gabinga. He's an amazing photographer from uh, Gabon, Africa. And he lives in Toronto. But that is a cool he's shot. Phenomenal. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's, it's, that's the thing. It's like, as artists, we're communicators, high-level communicators. And we, we have these conversations that we need to get out to the world. And sometimes it takes like collaboration between two artists to really like get across the point. So like, when you get a chance, check out that, that one that you like. That's yeah. the highs and the lows. Check out the highs and the lows. Of course I like That's that awesome. one, sure. <laughs>